I'm going to do a comparison between the 20 inch Ken Brown high velocity fan and the Dayton 20 inch high velocity fan. I bought both of these brand new not too long ago. That one was brand new from eBay and this one was brand new from Amazon. Both 20 inches and I think they're both pretty good. Uh, one thing that I like about these that I always mention is the clips that hold the grill together. And as far as modern fans go, these actually feel pretty sturdy. The Dayton feels a little bit more sturdy. Uh, it's got a PSC motor. This one's rated at 1.3 amps and 150 watts. And the nice thing about these is they have oil ports. A little hole right there so you can oil the motor. Uh, it's got a cord wrap and a nice three-prong plug on it. There's no fuse on this one. The Ken Brown has a ball bearing PSC motor. Uh, physically it's a pretty similar size to the one on the Dayton. This one doesn't give you the amp rating but it does give you the uh, wattage which is 120. Starts on low speed, it's got three speeds. The Dayton is also a three speed and it starts on low as well. There's the information on the Dayton cord wrap on the Ken Brown as well and it has a three prong plug. This one has a replaceable fuse in it. And of course one of the major differences is the fact that the Ken Brown has five blades instead of just three like you would normally get on a high velocity fan. Now I'm impressed with the power on both of these. Uh, as far as the stands go they're both very sturdy. I think, I mean, I'm, there's nothing wrong with the one on the Ken Brown at all, but I think the uh, the one on the Dayton is a little sturdier. Physically, it's pretty thin compared to what you would normally see. Um, now, what I like about this is it's very easy to mount in a window because of the fact that it's so thin and it, you can secure it very easily. I'll show you what the blade pitch is kind of hard to see on these fans but I'll tell you right now the Ken Brown is quieter which I did not expect I thought since it had five thin blades that it was going to be pretty loud but it's actually very quiet both of these move a lot of air and uh, I actually ended up buying two of these because I think they're pretty good the thing about the Dayton which you'll see when I turn it on it is very loud. It spins fast on all speeds. It moves a lot of air, but it is not by any means a quiet fan. It is extremely loud, and it's really only meant for, you know, it's not, not suitable for use in a bedroom at all unless you really like a loud fan. Uh, this is mostly for garages and industrial environments and stuff like that, and basements. But again, it's very powerful. Ken Brown. Also pretty powerful. I was really impressed with the power output of this fan. And it's a lot quieter. So this can be used in a bedroom and then it can also be used in a you know a shop or something like that or a warehouse. So I'll start the uh Dayton up first and we'll do amp tests on both of them. Dayton's plugged in. Let's go to low speed. Now it is moving a lot of air, but it's also making a lot of noise. Here's a medium from a distance. It's 
thing is moving a lot of air. Definitely not low on power by any means. So yeah, if you can put up with the noise, it has a lot of power. And I really like the fact that it has oil ports and the fact that it runs pretty smooth. It doesn't shake much at all. Pretty sure you can still get these. And these were sold under a ton of different brands. Let's see what we get coming up to high speed. Alright, we'll move on to the Ken Brown now. This one has a nice cord, but I don't think it's as long as the one on the Dayton. Alright, let's go to low speed. You can probably tell already how much quieter that is. This one has more direct airflow than the Dayton does. The Dayton was kind of diffused. Now it's moving a good breeze, especially considering how much quieter it is. On low speed, it might not be quite as powerful as the Dayton, but let's go up to medium. That's what it's pulling on low. This is a very good fan. It's not low on power at all. It might not be quite as powerful as the Dayton, but it's not far behind and it definitely is quieter. So yeah, if you want a quieter fan that's not much less powerful than that one is, then well, I would say go for this one, but I don't think they make these anymore. I don't know for sure, but maybe maybe you can find one. I've seen other uh, other brands out there with uh, five blades, and they seem to be pretty cheap, so I don't know if I would bother with them. Uh, but. If you want to try them out, go ahead. This one cost about a hundred dollars, I think, maybe a little over. And the Dayton was, I think the Dayton was like ninety bucks. I don't remember for sure. And here's high speed. Yeah, the motor on the Dayton uses more power than this one does.